Hello, I did a video recently about the Nokia 808 PureView camera app. Now I have it on the recorder via HDMI cord so I can show you the, how the screen and display looks like. Here you have it and I'll open the camera app and I have it zoomed in now so I zoomed out. Now here you have the flash, it's on automatic. It will probably use it now because there's not much light here. There's the automatic mode flash. And I can also change the exposure value from 0 to plus 4 and down to minus 4. You can see there's live histogram to help you with the exposure value. It's a really, really good feature to have. And then you have white balance. There's different white balance modes. And ISO it's now 1600 but you can go as low as 50 or put it on auto. And here you have the ND filter. You can leave it on auto or put it uh, off or on. Now it's on and you can take long exposure shots with it. Here's the camera app actually. How you can see it is automatic mode. Camera decides everything you, for you. There you have image with automatic mode. Nice. 5 megapixel image out of the 41 megapixel shot. Here you have scene modes. It can automatically do this, this as well. But you can use landscape mode, macro mode, portrait mode, sports mode, night mode, night portrait mode. This is spotlight, I mean concert and those environments and snow and beach probably would work as well. But then you have creative mode where you can do customize the settings. I have customized this to C2 to use the peer view mode. It uses the 41 megapixel sensor to make an 8 megapixel image or 5 megapixel image or 3 megapixel image. This way you can also zoom in without losing quality. Lossless zoom, digital zoom. You can take full resolution images, then it takes uh, about 38 megapixel images. 16 by 9 or, or 4 by 3 aspect ratio. JPEG quality, I use it on super fine. It's a little bit bigger file size probably, but not but the quality is better. Then you have different color tones. Normal, vivid, sepia, black and white. Capture mode, you can bracket images, set it to three or five images and minus one plus one is now set so you can make HDR images if you do post processing. Interval images, probably good for time lapse or something else. And self timer if you take shots of your family and want to be included in the photo. So there's the self timer mode. Also good if you don't want to, uh, you have the camera on a tripod and you don't want to shake the phone when you push the uh, shutter release. There's saturation. You can lower the saturation or increase it if you like more vivid images. You can adjust contrast and sharpness. So there's many custom modes here that you can use. But lossless zoom is you just zoom in 
Let's see if it can find focus. Yes. Use the flash. There's really nice detail here. This phone was made in 2012, so it was ahead of its time and this is why I hope that some kind of innovation would happen in camera phone cameras because there hasn't been really a big jump in image quality in a long time I think modern phones are probably better than this right now but when this came out other phones had like 5 megapixel images and this was a jump forward with 41 megapixel sensor so the pure view technology was really good so this is the 808 pure view from 2012 it has physical camera button here and you can open and lock the screen with physical button no fingerprint readers was available at that time and this is really nice phone I think I hope they would make something like this again somehow but we'll see what what comes next from makers of Nokia phone to HMD so this is one last look at a great phone from 2012 so thank you for watching and see you in the next one